The Validine DP-15 is one of our most popular variable reluctance pressure sensors, and will give many years of satisfactory service if properly maintained. If you have a DP-15 and are not sure if it is working correctly, there are a few simple tests that you can run using a multimeter to determine if your DP-15 is functional. This video will describe how to check a DP-15 for continuity, isolation, and how to disassemble and inspect the sensor for contamination, corrosion, or mechanical damage. Here is a typical DP-15 variable reluctance pressure sensor. The first test we will perform is a continuity check on the internal sensor coils. Loosen the two small screws holding the electrical connector, and expose the wires underneath. There will be a white wire, black wire and two green wires, that lead up from the pins on the sensor body to the electrical connector. Using a multimeter set to measure low resistance, check the resistance between the pin with the white wire and the pin with the black wire. No polarity is needed for the voltmeter leads. Note the resistance between these two pins as measured by the multimeter. The reading should be about 60 ohms. The actual value isn't important, but it must show continuity at some low resistance. An open circuit indicates that the coil wires have been corroded or damaged. In such a case the transducer will not calibrate correctly and it cannot be repaired. If you get an open circuit indication try cleaning the terminal pins on the sensor with alcohol. A better contact surface will give more accurate resistance reading. The next step is to measure the isolation resistance between the black wire and the sensor body. Set the multimeter to read resistance on its highest setting, we are expecting a very high resistance here, or an open circuit indication. A normal reading is several hundred m ohms, or open circuit. If the reading is greater than 100 k ohms the sensor will probably work. A reading below 100 k ohms means there has been a breakdown in the isolation between the coil wires, and the metal case. This often causes drift or noisy pressure readings from the sensor. Now disassemble the DP-15 sensor by removing the four body bolts. These bolts are very tightly torqued and you will need a T27 Torx wrench, and a vise to hold the sensor. When the sensor is apart the sensing diaphragm will drop out, and you will see two O-rings in the sensor body. Inspect the O-rings to verify that they have not been distorted or been eaten by corrosive fluids. New O-rings are available from Validine. Now look closely at the center of the inside of each coil housing. You will see a dime-sized foil lid that has been welded in the center of the sensor cavity. Using a magnifying glass, check to see that this weld is intact. Corrosion often attacks this area and this can cause lack of isolation or loss of continuity. Also inspect the inside of the sensor cavities for any trace of dirt, grit, or other contaminants. Even a small particle can keep the sensing diaphragm from moving and the transducer from responding to pressure. The inside of the sensor cavities should be cleaned with alcohol and a cotton swab before reassembly, even if you cannot see any dirt. If the DP-15 has low DC resistance between the black and white wires, has a high isolation resistance between the black wire and the metal case, has no evidence of corrosion on the lid welds and has been cleaned of any dirt or contaminants, it can be reassembled and calibrated. Be sure to carefully tighten the body bolts to 125 inch pounds in stages to achieve the required clamping force. If the calibration does not produce a linear output or the signal exhibits high hysteresis the diaphragm may need replacement. This will be the case if you have overpressured the sensor to twice its differential pressure range. Diaphragms are readily available from Validine, and can be ordered in 23 different full-scale pressure ranges. We hope this video has been helpful in checking your DP-15 for functionality. Instruction Manuals Data sheets and additional information about the DP-15 can be found on our websites, www.validine.com and www.validinesupport.com. You can also call technical support at 818 Thank you for watching and have a great day.